Hey Storm Nation fans, Alex Hoskins here, Storm's Director of Research and Development, and today we're going to take a closer look at the brand new IQ Tour 78U. Urethane has undoubtedly become a big part of today's game and has been a hotly debated topic in recent years. The IQ Tour 78U is different from other recent urethane releases because of the new Control 78 urethane cover stock. It's important to note that just because this ball meets the PBA 78 hardness rule does not mean that it was designed only for PBA players. We spent the last six months testing dozens of formulations targeting 78 hardness while maintaining the early, smooth, and predictable performance that all bowlers have come to expect with urethane. There's a strong correlation between hardness and footprint. As hardness increases, footprint generally decreases, which makes it more difficult to get the ball to slow down properly. Having the ball slow down early is crucial for the success of urethane ball motion. This is where the combination of the weight block and the cover stock is extremely important. It's no secret that lower RG weight blocks or weight blocks that spin up a little bit faster as they go down the lane haven't matched up to traditional urethane balls of recent years with those larger footprints. However, in testing these harder urethane cover stocks, it was clear that the lower RG weight block complemented the cover stock and gave us that early predictable shape that we look for in good urethane ball motion. There were a total of four weight blocks that made the final round of testing and we went with the legendary C3 centripetal control core that's found in the IQ Tour series. The unique combination of low RG and low diff helps the harder urethane cover stock spin up a little bit faster, but not over flare as it goes down the lane. This gives the bowler a great combination of control in the front part of the lane with continuation off the end of the pattern. What layouts are gonna work best for this IQ Tour 78U? Traditional urethane balls have typically had weaker, very high RG weight blocks to create a smoother transition from skid to hook to roll. As a result, it was typical to lay out the ball slightly stronger. If your benchmark ball was something like 5x4x2 on reactive, you might do a urethane ball at 4x4x1 to help it start up a little bit faster and get through the pins better. Less or even in some cases no adjustment might be needed from the bowler's favorite layout with this IQ Tour 78U because of the lower RG C3 centripetal control core. Bullers are gonna find that the 78U sees the lane very early, even with the smaller footprint from the Control 78 urethane. Using too strong of a layout on this ball will cause the ball to get offline too quickly and force the bowler into the wrong part of the lane very quickly. The last thing that I wanna talk about are a couple of mistakes that I see bowlers make when throwing urethane. The biggest mistake by far is bowlers using urethane as a dry lane or a weaker ball for the burner. Urethane hooks the earliest front to back and it's meant to be used when there's plenty of oil in the front part of the lane and the bowler is trying to control friction down lane. Another mistake is bowlers not using enough surface on their urethane ball. Now this doesn't mean go out and grab a 180 grit pad on every condition, but don't be afraid to use the appropriate surface to get the ball to slow down in the right part of the lane. Not having enough surface is detrimental to the design intent of urethane. That is a big reason why we've used a very aggressive 500 grit Aberlon finish on this new IQ Tour 78U. Keep in mind we employ a full-time technical team that's always looking to assist bowlers of all skill levels and improve their game and help grow the sport of bowling. Head out to your local Storm VIP Pro Shop and pick up your IQ Tour 78U today.